Welcome guys to another Ask Zenla. Okay guys, so in uh, this lecture what we're going to look at is uh, integration with Stripe. And I'm going to log into my site. And I'm going to go to site here, yeah? And down to the integrations tab, which is here. Okay, so once you're in here, we need to connect this with Stripe. Click this button and you're going to get this come up where it asks you to actually activate the account. So you need to put in your um, details inside here. So your business website, which will be, in my case, will be Surf Dudes. dot new zenla.com and you need to choose your category in this case education other educational services you can describe this as well Okay, so with that, we then type your type of business. So, going to put individual, sole trader. Company number is optional, fat number is optional. A registered address, you need to put your address into this area and your phone number as well. Now some of this is blurred because obviously it is personal information, but you can fill this out. So once you've done your business address, you need to optionally, you can put in your phone number. I always think it's a good idea to put your phone number in. Legal name. Phone number here. The other details, date of birth, and the home address, which can of course be the same as, if it is the same as your postcode, as your uh, registered business address. So then the statement for the descriptor for your charging would be, in my case, surf dudes. Support telephone number if you have one, which you should have because it's a required field. I'll just type that in there. The currency you've selected and you put your bank details all in here. So this area is so that you get paid, obviously, into the account that you want the money to go into from Stripe. You should have the account number as well. And do double check that so it gives you a confirm on the account number just in case because this is really important if you get it wrong it won't go into your account okay that's good direct debits required for improved relied be encouraged to enable as a backup so you can use SMS and then I can I can confirm by phone number so that will send a message to me to my phone and it will give me a message in a second 
Okay, my message has come in on my phone. So I'm just looking. So, giving me a number to put in here, just to make sure. So it gives you a bypass code just in case um, you need to restore it. So it's definitely worth downloading that code. Okay, and then clicking done. Email address. And you set up a password. So I'm now connected into Stripe. So I have a Stripe account now, and that has been all connected inside there. Now, just to make sure that your Stripe account is active, what we're gonna do is we're gonna log in. So we've gone to Stripe dashboard, log in, and I'm gonna type in my stuff that I set up. That was the email address and the password that you set up. And I'll go continue. It's gonna ask me for a verification message. So it's gonna send that to this, to the phone. So I'm just gonna have a look at my phone now. This is why it's good to have this authentication. So it's given me a number to put in here. And that's put in and I'm signed in. So my Stripe account has been automatically set up by the Zender platform. This is now ready to go and we are ready to take payments over Stripe inside of your Zender account. As you can see, it shows that it's connected up in here. So you now have a payment system called Stripe already enabled. So hopefully that helps you guys. Very straightforward with Stripe. You just need to go through those details. It will set an account up for you and you're ready to go.